In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best zone spacing concepts in Madden 21. This play is phenomenal for beating zone coverage as well as man coverage. We're going to dive right into it. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly become through doing daily tips and strategies both on the offensive side of the ball as well as on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with whenever we release new videos here on the channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is I'm going to be talking about this play, Flood. Now, if you guys don't already know, Flood is probably one of my favorite passing concepts in the entire game because I think it's the one passing concept that is truly unstoppable. It's, it's very, very difficult to stop this passing concept, especially if you use the right adjustments. Now, if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offensive scheme, that guide is available in the description for just 15 bucks. You can get that. You can learn the entire offensive scheme the way that I would recommend running it. This is uh, about 10 years of running gun bunch put together, learning from some of the best play bunch players in the world, and then putting my own spin on some stuff as well. So if you want to get that gun bunch ebook, it's available in the description. But today we're going to be talking about the play Flood, and we're going to be talking about a specific version of the play. The beauty of Flood is you can do a lot of things with it. You can run it stock. You can literally just call it. You don't have to do anything at all. You just call the play, and you'll see people are open. right? You can do that if you want to do that. What I'm going to recommend in this video is a simple little adjustment to this play that I think is going to make it absolutely very, very difficult for the defense to be able to consistently beat it or stop it. So what we're going to do is we are going to put the circle receiver on a hitch route, and then we are going to take our triangle receiver, which is our running back, and we're going to put him on an option route. You see here, this is the setup that we're going to be utilizing. Now, first and foremost, I want to cover this against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the one little caveat to this is we are going to be motioning that circle receiver a few clicks to the right. And I'm going to explain why when we jump into the zone drops section of this. But we are going to just kind of motion just like that right there. And what you're going to see is against man coverage, your first read that you're going to want to hit is this running back. This running back rod is absolutely insanely effective against man-to-man -man coverage, especially in regs. But even in mutt, it's, it's really, really, really good, especially now that you're not seeing a lot of one step ahead, hitches and little qu quick cutting routes like this. This is probably, like I said, the best passing play uh, in Madden 21 right now, just the way that we run it, because there's so many things that you can do off of it. Now, as I've said before, when I talk about gun bunch, I recommend having your best wide receiver in the slot. So as you see here from the Packers, I've got Devontae Adams right there. That means that his outcut is going to typically be able to beat me and man. If you're in mutt and you have a route tech or slotomatic player, that would be where I would recommend putting them. That is going to help them a ton be able to get open against whatever the defense is able to do from a man to man coverage perspective. Now, the beauty of this motion hitch is if you motion this thing, it becomes unbumpable, as you see there. But the one issue, as you can see, um, with a trail coverage like a cover two man, is the defense does sometimes jump in front of it. If they're shading their coverage, so like for example, if they're shading their coverage over the top, what that's that's gonna be where this is gonna be open a lot. So if they're running like, you know, zone drops, they don't wanna get, or they, they're, they're putting their safeties in purple zones and they don't wanna get beat over the top, that's a situation where they could go ahead, you know, and, and shade over top and you would have a lot of success. But if they're shading, you know, inside and underneath, Unfortunately, with the way this route works. Now, if you just ran it like this, um, you see here, you, you see with Acrobat, you just can't quite get it there all the time. You'll complete some of them, but you'll also throw some interceptions. And so we don't want to, we don't obviously want to have a 50 50 proposition. So if it's man coverage, I honestly would probably just leave um, the circle receiver alone unless he's like wide open. Um, but I love to motion him. You see, like right here, I mean, you see that. I mean, you can low ball it. And you can have a little bit of a window, but it's just not what we want to do. It's not where we want to hit uh, on this play, at least against man-to-man. -man. It's really, really good against zone. It's not the best against man. Even, you know, there's a lot of things you could do. You see, like, right here, motion him out, low ball. Like, you see, I can complete one every now and then, but you see how tight of a throw that is. It's just not something that we want to be doing against man-to-man -man coverage. So um, the next thing that we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to hit this dig route. This dig route is really underrated. Uh, I think it's probably one of the best dig routes in the game. Um, it's just it's, it goes about 15 yard depth, so the yellow zones don't really get back on it, um, even if they unless they do a specific zone drop adjustment to put the yellow zones back, which in that case would leave both of your other underneath curls wide open against the zone coverage, which you'll see right here. 
it just cuts the inside, beats in like a charm, and it just it just works. Now the next thing that I want to cover is uh, zone coverage. So to show the zone coverage, if they run default coverages, um, those hitches will be open every single time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the adjustment out there that you're likely to see, and that is you're likely to see something like this right here. This this little combination is probably the default way that people are going to adjust a bunch. If they don't have those adjustments that I just showed you, the 25, five and five, then you're gonna it's gonna be even easier. Um, it's gonna be even easier to move on them because basically, I mean, it's just hard to stop. It's just hard to stop this with without zone drops. So let's say they're not doing zone drops and or that they're doing zone drops and they have those five yard five yard curls. If I just run this little hitch, you see that that linebacker sits right in front of the hitch. See that? I mean, I completed it, but you see he's kind of in that area. When I motion the receiver, it's going to help a little bit with that. So again, they're in that same coverage, but this is why I like to motion circle. So if I motion him out here, now that hook curl doesn't get out there. You see that he doesn't get out there. I mean, he does, but he doesn't kind of thing. That's more of what we're looking at, and that's very, very consistent um, with with his own coverage. When you get this guy out here, it's a lot harder for those yellows to just, they just don't get out there all the time. Especially the more you get him out, and again, you don't want to get him all the way out there, but you want to get him at this nice little in-between window where he's, you know, he's just not coverable by the yellows. So like right in here, and then it, right as he stops, you want to throw it. You see it's a consistent five yards against zone coverage when they play zone coverage like that. Now what I want to share with you is a different style of coverage that you're probably going to see if you if you face any gun bunch, and that is a Mabel coverage. So we're going to vert hook here, we got a spy, we got double flats on that side, and I want to show you kind of how this looks against that. So again, you get that motion out, get him way out there, and you see that's the beauty of this right here. The flat route to the tight end is going to pull the zone, and you're going to be able to consistently throw that circle receiver into that coverage very, very easily. That's the beauty of this because a lot of people will play Mabel coverage against Gun Bunch and they will throw that yellow zone over there and they're thinking, okay, they're good. All they got to do is cover the halfback, maybe cover that in route late. That's really what they have to do. Not so. If you get this guy out here enough, the yellow zone won't get out there and you can just throw this. It's a layup. I mean, it's literally just a dot over and over and over again. Now, the other thing we haven't covered is the route to the um, the route to the slot. So the, the cool part about that route to the slot, especially if they're using some kind of Mabel coverage like this, what you're gonna notice is that tight end will pull the zones out really, really nicely. And so here you can kind of low ball it right to them, just like that right there. Okay, so it's an easy little low ball. You can get it out there uh, against that coverage. Now let's say they're just running one hard flat, like they're not running a an over top zone then this will come even more open. As you can see, it's, it's wide open. So this is a phenomenal way for you to be able to put a lot of stress on the zone coverage. The only last thing that I didn't mention is, let's say they have the yellow zones down there to stop the running back. So like they don't put a, you know, they don't Mabel both sides, they're only Mabel in one really. You're gonna see that this dig route is wide open and behind the yellows as well. So they really have a tough task to be able to stop these. Um, and these are just, it's just very, very consistent. Uh, it's just it's one of those passing concepts that I think just super consistent. It's super hard to guard because of where the routes get to on the field. And so that's why I like Flood so much. That's why I like Gun Bunch so much. And if you want to learn my entire Gun Bunch offensive scheme, uh, my Bunch offensive guide is available in the description for just 15 bucks. So you can pick it up there. Uh, there's a link right there that you take you to the checkout page. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you want to get the full Gun Bunch ebook, it's available in the description.